Yo, what's going on guys, Hennis here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a live YouTube subscriber count to your OBS stream. Now, I already have two tutorials on this channel on how to add your live YouTube subscriber count to OBS, but unfortunately, one of them is no longer supported. And while the other one does still work, this new method that I'm about to show you is way more efficient and seamless. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up OBS Studio, and then right here under sources, you're gonna right click, go to add, and click browser. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it live sub count. Click OK. Now in this URL box, instead of going to a third party website to get our sub count, which is no longer possible, we can actually get our channel's live sub count directly from YouTube Studio. So if you open up your YouTube dashboard and go over to the analytics tab, and on the right side of the screen, you should see a spot where you can see your live subscriber count, and this is built directly into YouTube Studio. And if you click see live count, you'll get a direct 100% accurate live subscriber count for your YouTube channel. Now what we can actually do is take this URL from our browser, copy it, and then paste it directly into OBS. Put it right here in the URL bar. And then for this next step to be a lot easier, I'm gonna change my width and my height to 1920 by 1080. And then once I've done that, just click okay. Now once we do that, we should see a login window in our browser source. Now, in order to see our live subscriber count, we have to log into our YouTube channel. So we need to actually interact with the browser source in order to type in our email address and password. So to do that, right click on live sub count and click interact. And now we can actually type things into the browser source. So the next step is just to log into your YouTube channel as you would normally. Type in your password, click next. Now you may get a two-factor authentication prompt where you either have to put in a Google Authenticator code or verify a notification on your mobile device. So if you get a message like this, go ahead and confirm that now. And now if you did everything correctly, you should immediately be greeted with the same page that we copied directly from our browser. You should be able to see your live subscriber count directly in OBS. So we can actually exit out of this interacting preview window here. And now if you hold down left alt on your keyboard and click and drag on the edges of your browser source, you're able to easily crop it to only show your live subscriber count and get it just where I want it right there. And there you go. Now you have your live YouTube subscriber count built directly into OBS. And the best part about this is you didn't need to install a third party plugin in Chrome, like with the social blade extension. And you also don't need to do any window or display capturing in order to see your live sub count. This is directly in OBS. So you can close out of this browser in the background and your live sub count will still be here. And every time you close out of OBS and relaunch it, your live subscriber count will automatically reappear. And actually, quick tip here, now that you have your live subscriber count on your stream, odds are you're gonna be getting a lot more subscribers. So I would leave a little bit of extra space to the left and right so that as your sub count grows, it doesn't get cut off by the cropping that you've done here. So now when your sub count inevitably triples in your next live stream, you'll have enough room to display it here. But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it. This is the easiest and most seamless way to add your live YouTube subscriber count to your OBS stream. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And also be sure to subscribe to Pro Tutorials if you're new. This is what I'm all about over here on this channel. But that's gonna do it for me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody keep gaming and as always, stay cool, adios.